Welcome Achievers to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Geary with another online lab. This quick lab comes from the Holt California Earth Science Edition, page 302, and it's entitled The Seismographic Record. The objective is how do you create a seismographic record? And it's going to be quick lab on page 302. The standard is California Standard 3D. Students know why and how earthquakes occur and the scales used to measure their intensity and magnitude as well as Investigation and Experimentation 1D, students will formulate explanations using logic and evidence. The supplies are going to be a shoebox and a plastic bag, maybe a Ziploc bag that you fill with sand and you put inside of the shoebox. And you're going to need a felt tip pen or a vis vis pen, a pad of paper, 8.5 by 11, and a baseball. All right, what you're going to do today is you're going to take... Uh, a shoe box is going to fill the uh, plastic bag with sand and then put it inside to give you some stability. Then on the top of the uh, shoe box, you're going to try and measure the approximate center of the shoe box, put an X, and that's where you're going to drop your, your baseball. And then you're going to put one or two rubber bands. I put two rubber bands to try and stabilize the vis a -vis. And you're going to take a pad of paper. It works best if there's two people using this or doing this experiment. You're going to put it at the one edge, then one partner is going to slide this past while the other partner holds the ball on top and then drops it, simulating an earthquake. We did this experiment a little bit earlier and we actually got a much better uh, seismographic record. But that's the uh, seismographic record and the what you should be learning is that the P wave arrives first, the primary wave, followed by the S wave or the secondary wave, and then the surface waves are the last to arrive. And that's Mr. Geary for MySciences.com. Thank you.